I never thought this would happen on carnivore. I started the carnivore diet 10 months ago. And over those 10 months, I've seen dramatic improvements in my health. But in this video, I want to focus on something that I've noticed recently. And it's something that's had quite an impact on me. Guys, just before we get into it, a word from today's sponsor, the subscribe button. I've got a goal to get to 50k subscribers by the end of April. So I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a hand and take the split second right now to smash the subscribe button and let's try and get to that 50k goal together. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. So as I say, I started the carnivore diet 10 months ago and things have improved significantly for me in that time. I'm not going to go into huge detail about it now. I'll leave a link to a video in the description which goes into much more detail. Instead, let me just briefly summarize the health benefits that I've seen. Improved sleep, improved mood, improved focus, improved concentration, greater productivity, my gum disease is gone, my bad breath is gone, my arthritis is gone, I never have a bad back anymore, no more random farting, I've had post-stroke symptom improvements such as improved balance, gait, and strength, greater clarity of thinking, and a greater ability to look at issues abstractly. So these are all fantastic improvements. But there is something I need to stop, and it's related to the last two improvements that I talked about, the greater clarity of thinking and the improved ability to think abstractly. You see, both of these things have enabled me to look more critically at what's actually going on around me. And in being able to do that, I've noticed a deficiency that I want to talk to you about. This is a deficiency in our systems, specifically the systems of the USDA. The USDA releases updated dietary requirements every five years. And these dietary guidelines are important for everyone, not just people who live in the US. And that's because US policy has a tendency to filter down or at least influence government policy around the world. And there is a major problem with the USDA outlined here by the Nutrition Coalition. You see, the USDA has something called strategic partners. And what better partners to have than food manufacturers like Nestle, manufacturers of well-known health foods such as KitKat, Maggi Noodles and Hot Pockets, or partners like Frito-Lay, the manufacturers of Cheetos, containing healthy concentrations of not only natural but also artificial flavors. With friends like these, who needs enemies? And you might say, so what? There is no proof that the USDA is influenced by these strategic partners. And that's true, but there's also no evidence that they aren't. And the word strategic does imply that there's some level of back and forth relationship here, which is problematic. When the authority issuing dietary guidelines that impact the entire world has strategic partners who manufacture products humans were never meant to consume. Now, it could be entirely innocent and totally free of any negative kind of influence. But do you really think so? Imagine the USDA suddenly decided that their dietary guidelines were going to promote mainly animal products and saturated fat as the primary source of nutrition for Americans. How long do you think Nestle, Frito-Lay, Sunkist and all the others would stick around as strategic partners? I tried to get more information about these strategic partners direct from the USDA website, but as of filming this video, their website is inaccessible. But to sum up, I believe that having partners like this is a massive deficiency in the system. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.